Hmm. I hate working the late shift so often. But at least I'm home now. She texted me all day telling me that she's prepared us an amazing meal for tonight. So I honestly can't wait to just park this car, get inside and just smell her amazing cooking. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> And parked. Brilliant. Let's get inside and see her now. She's been waiting all day for me. And I've been waiting all day for her. Honey, I'm home. God, I always love saying that every day I get back from work. It's a ritual at this point. <laughs> mm, the house smells absolutely amazing i don't even need to see the food to know that she's outdone herself with the cooking hey there you are god i missed seeing you today <laughs> give me a hug how was your day i'm glad one of us had a good day today Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, you know, work. I, although I have fun with it, it's just the long hours that get to me. That's all. Nothing much, but we'll, we'll, I'll get through it. <laughs> the only thing that keeps me going at work are the memes you're always sending me. No, honestly, it's the truth. <laughs> Without them, I'd be miserable every single day. <laughs> Give me just a couple of minutes. Um, I just want to go wash my hands, then we'll start to eat. Is that cool? Alright, thank you love, I'll be right back. Love you, bye! <laughs> the food smells amazing, by the way. Did I say that already? Well, I had to say it twice, because it's the honest truth. <laughs> okay, I'll be back for real this time. Give me a second. Okay, okay, real cooking today it was brilliant. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe that was just the last piece I swallowed. Oh, I wish there was more. Okay, but call me crazy, but I honestly think you could give Gordon Ramsay a run for his money. You laugh, you laugh, but I genuinely think <laughs> you could be his chef. You could outmaster the chef. Trust me. Okay, since you put in so much work in making the food today, you can just sit back and turn the TV on while I do the dishes. That sounds fair, right? No, no, no. Please, I, I insist. I insist. I'll be done and I'll come join you. I mean, I'm in the mood to sing some happy love songs about you while I'm doing the dishes anyway, so you just kick your feet up, watch some television, and I'll get right on top of it. <laughs> okay. I'll join you in the living room just in a couple of minutes. I can't live without your love. I can't breathe without your love. Whoa. What was that? Honey? Are you okay? Or did you drop your phone again, Mrs. Butterfingers? <laughs> Why isn't she responding? Love? Are you okay? Still no answer? Okay, now I'm worried. Honey, are you doing alright? I'm walking over. Let me just dry my hands. Oh god. Oh no, 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 it's happening again. It's happening again. Okay, okay, um I'm right here, love. I'm right here, love. Okay, just uh just I'm just I'm just going to roll you over to your side, okay? And and get a pillow for your head so that you have a cushion to lay your head on top of. Okay, okay.
Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, two steps down. Oh, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. Breathe in, breathe out. Just remember what she told you to do in this situation. She needs you now more than ever, man. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to loosen your collar so you can have as much airflow as you can, okay? I know, baby, I know, I know, and I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. But I love you regardless, okay? And I hope you never forget that. My, my, uh, my hand is on your back just so that you don't lay on top of it, okay? I'm, I'm right here with you till the end of it, okay? And I'm not going anywhere, I promise. I promise. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. She's being a lot less sporadic now. That's a good sign. Well, uh, while she's slowly getting better, I'm just going to pull my phone out of my pocket and keep the emergency services on speed dial in case things eventually become worse. I'm sorry. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm right here. Okay. I think it's over now. Honey? Can... Can you hear me? That... That's good. That's good. I, I'm... I'm overjoyed at the fact that you could answer with these. I'm... I'm out of breath. I'm just going to ask you a few more questions, okay? If you're too tired to talk, then just squeeze my hand as hard as you can, okay? Do you know where you are right now? You do. <laughs> yes, that's right, honey. You're at home. You're home and you're safe and nothing and no one will hurt you here. We just had dinner that you prepared and it was amazing. Do you remember that? You do remember. Perfect, perfect. And you also remember when I said you could give Gordon Ramsay a run for his money? Right. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's a good sign that you can remember the questions I'm asking you. Whenever we have time, you'll have to teach me your amazing recipes so I can be the one to spoil you as much as you spoil me. <laughs> okay? Okay. And, um, last question, do you remember, do you remember who I am? <laughs> yes, yes, that's correct, that's correct, I'm, I'm the guy that you married all those years ago. <laughs> okay, I think everything's good now. That was stressful. Hey, you're back. That's, that's great. Um, no, love. You weren't asleep. Um, it happened again. Hey, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> you're so precious. You're over here worrying about whether or not I'm the one who's doing okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you didn't get hurt. I really am. Oh, no, please, baby, please don't cry. Please, please, please. It's not your fault. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look, grab my hand. Grab my hand. It's not your fault, and it will never be your fault. Do you understand that? You have to remember that I married you the kind, sweet, and warm-hearted person that you are, okay? These seizures, the seizures that you have, they're not just your burdens to carry, okay? They're also mine as well, and I couldn't be happier that you chose me out of all other people to be by your side whenever you're going through something like this. I promise that you and I will both get through this. Okay? 
Oh, I love you so much. Okay, so I think that tomorrow the both of us should just stay at home. What do you think? Oh, don't worry. If they really need me at work, they have my number and an internet connection to call me, beat me, <laughs> if they want to reach me. Okay, <laughs> so we don't we don't have to worry about that. I would honestly much rather prefer to just stay by your side the whole of tomorrow, and since it's a Friday, we can turn this into our own private long holiday. <laughs> Or long weekend, since we'll have Friday off, Saturday and Sunday off. And I have no worries spending those days with you, making sure you're doing just fine. Hey, think about it like this. We can even set up a movie night. I'll cook for you one of your amazing recipes, like the ones you cooked for me today. And we can have ice cream for dessert. Um, oh! And I can already tell you and I are going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. <laughs> There's no one in the world that I would rather spend a beautiful night like that with. Are you feeling any better now? <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm glad, truly. How's about we get off the floor and make our way to the bed? Hmm? Don't get me wrong. The mahogany flooring in this house is absolutely amazing, but nothing can compare to the comfort of our mattress, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, let me help you up. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, careful. Are you feeling lightheaded or anything? Do you have a headache? Are you just tired? Okay. Let me pick you up. Yes, of course I'll pick you up. Just like when it was our wedding day, remember? <laughs> Alright, I won't let go of you. Let's just get you to bed so you can get some proper rest. While you're getting some sleep, I'll deal with all of the necessary phone calls with your doctor, work, and your parents. No, no, honestly, it's it's okay. I'm I'm happy to help where I can, honey. Honestly. All right, here's your stop. <laughs> now get into bed. Um, let me just go to the kitchen really quickly to get you a glass of water in case you need it. Oh, and don't be afraid to call me for anything while I'm on the phone. Call me if you want to laugh, to cry, or whatever else. I'll be back in a heartbeat, okay? <laughs> I love you so, so much, honey. Please, never forget that. Okay, let me just go make these phone calls, and then I'll be back as soon as possible to give you the comfort that you need, I promise. <laughs>